Welcome to The Entrepreneurial Lawyer, How to Grow Your Law Firm, a podcast for managing and growing your legal practice. Lexicon CEO Dan Cuneo and Director of Legal Operations and Training Sarah Rutan Bates discuss how to make your law practice profitable in the modern legal industry. Hello and welcome to this episode of The Entrepreneurial Lawyer. I'm your host, Dan Cuneo, along with my wonderful, fabulous, amazing co-host, Sarah Rutan Bates. Three. Three. That was a really good intro today. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, it, I feel like it's been a little while. It, it feels like, you know, when we're not together in the studio, it feels like forever. I know. I, I've, um, I've really gotten used to you calling me on your way home <laughs> so we can talk ideas. So when I don't hear from you, I'm like, something must be wrong. It's not you, it's me. Uh, I, well, I knew that. but <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm super pumped because we get to talk about a topic that you and I are always discussing, practice management software. But before we begin, I would like to remind everyone to please like and subscribe and also share it with your friends and colleagues. We hope that you find this beneficial. But today we are going to be talking about practice management software. It does help keep your practice organized, save time, and avoid those administrative errors. Also, if your firm does not have a practice management software, we highly recommend that you secure one. And if you do have one, this is the time to do that assessment and evaluation to make sure that you're maximizing your practice management software. And today we have a wonderful guest. We do. I've actually given a lot of thought to this, but before I say what I want to say, I think you should introduce her. Today we have Sarah Langan with us, who is very familiar with practice management softwares and is talking to us from Connecticut. Sarah, Hi. thank you for joining us. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Dan. Thank you for having me. Okay. Did you hear that? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I we, thought there was an echo. We have a problem. So Dan and I have been in this situation before where a guest of ours had the same name um, as our host, and we had to come up with a nickname. So I think it's only appropriate that we do the exact same thing in this situation. And last time I came up with the nickname. So I think this time you have to come up with it. <laughs> uh, putting me on the spot to be creative. Oh my gosh. I think we just kind of just stick with traditional. We'll call you co host, Sarah. No? It's boring. It is boring. Okay. How so about fabulous sales, Sarah? Sales Sarah? Sales Sarah, sales Sarah, Sarah, Sarah? and fabulous Sarah. Okay. Sarah? Sales Sarah, are you good with that? Yeah, Sales Sarah works for me. Sales Sarah. I like Sales okay. Sarah. Sales Sarah it is. And Fabulous Sarah. And Fabulous Sarah. He's going to ask me for something later, work-related, I promise you. <laughs> um, so Sales Sarah, tell us about you and your background. Yeah, so um, I started working um, in the legal field almost 10 years ago. I worked for some family law, I worked done some criminal law, and then... Most recently, before I came on with Lexicon, I was working with a private investigation agency and solely worked with uh, law firms of every shape and size and practice area. I got to know not only just how law firms operate, but how the legal world is evolving. I've always kind of been in sales, a little bit in business development. Um, I try to stay up to date on the latest trends. I enjoy the legal field, not only the work you know that comes with it, helping people, but I, again, I like to see how it, it's evolved over the last seven to 10 years. You were involved in two of the most probably interesting fields of law, family law and criminal law. And we can probably have a whole episode, if not multi-episodes on just some of your, your stories, right? Oh yeah, I have a a good book of stories. I'm I am definitely a good person to get uh, stuck sitting next to an airplane with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that person who puts on my headphones. Don't talk to me. <laughs> um, you know, sales, Sarah and Dan. All of us come from law firms. You know, the legal world, and and I think back to 17 years ago when I started my career. And there wasn't this big concept of practice management systems, though. You know, everything was the hard file still. And anything that you did, in fact, have to save to your computer. Note, I did not say cloud. Um, I mean, it was just going on a network drive. 
Right. So, uh, Sarah, to your point, you're absolutely correct. I mean, the legal industry is really evolving and changing. And Dan and I talk about that a lot, actually, this whole concept of the modern day or new age law firm and practice management software, software or um, what are other words or phrases? Uh, case management software, legal management software. It's Document becoming management software. yeah, that's that's a great one. Um, it's a necessity and a must-have. So, uh, Dan and I thought it would be great if we could just pick your brain on what are those top four ways that a practice management software can really help a. F- a firm peak in their overall performance. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, I I got my start in a file cabinet. <laughs> With uh, you probably have. I always call them red robes, but wells, re- wells, red wells. wells. Oh, yeah, red wells. wells. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Dan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Having PTSD. Please. Stop. <laughs> People do still use those, by the way. And uh, dictation is that still mm. a thing too? Ugh. Or is that like a a cassette player or something like that, or is it so antiquated? I, I think it's still a thing, but um, even that, not to plug myself here, but uh, myself and a colleague of mine, Connie Dunn, we actually just did um, a, an article on this whole concept of how legal secretaries have transformed. And that was something we talked about, dictation, that Legal secretaries were used for that, but even now, it's not as big of a thing because you can just add an app to your phone, right, or your iPad, yeah. and just speak into it, and it does the same thing that that person used to do for you. But I feel like this is a whole different topic. It, it, it is, and and you wrote a wonderful article about that too. Oh, thanks. Well, um, Sarah, sorry, we're just over here talking oh, no about worries. fabulous Sarah. Um, but let's talk about sales, Sarah, and what you know. Yeah, so, let's Sarah, jump into what, it. No what more is, war stories. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what is that first key takeaway um, from your experience that you feel law firms need to be considering when looking at a practice management system? The fact that you said legal assistants are in a hybrid role. I think the biggest thing that they need to think about is organization, right? You know, having their matters in one place, having their matters inside of a system where, you know, there's no red wells, um, everybody can access it. Sounds like we're uh, back in the day when you used to go to Blockbuster and, and rent videos. You know, it's kind of like that's no longer that, that got buried. Now your red wells are buried and we're looking at ways to make things more efficient. And yeah. so we're putting behind all that information and those war stories that we were talking about. Now we're looking into the new age, the new law is what a, a, a lot of individuals and firms are starting to call it now. And it's really about how can we be more efficient, right? I mean, we always want things instantaneously, but I, I in my opinion, I think the way that the practice management system is moving towards in the software is what Sarah touched on is in the cloud, all cloud-based. And how does that make things more efficient? And efficient just doesn't always mean easier too, right, Sarah? Sales, Sarah? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I had a response. I, I, I saw you going, I'm like, I want to try it. Fabulous, Sarah. Absolutely. And I mean, I have to put this in perspective, of course, of myself as a legal assistant, you're doing so much. And to have everything in one place is is great. I think um, when I think of matter management, the benefits, uh, again, I go back to the the old school days, right, where everything was was physically done on on a piece of paper, on a draft. And now when you have matter management in place, there's a magnitude of different things that you can do with this. I mean, first and foremost, it keeps everybody informed. You can actually be editing and creating and sharing documents from within a system. That's huge. Um, you know, this this modern age tech technologically, if I could say the word today, advanced world we live in, matter management also means that attorneys have accessibility to a client's file just at their fingertips. Again, I go back to the iPhone, the iPad, you know, from the comfort of their home. Maybe they're traveling. So on an airplane. iCloud. iCloud. 
That was a better yeah. way to put it, Dan. You're right. You're right. Definitely, you like that? I, I, I sense the theme you're going. Just like, and I just want to. I want to name them all because maybe we'll get a sponsorship from Apple. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but truly, uh, it, it allows everybody to have and gain access to a matter. Another thing uh, for me personally, DMS, Document Management System. Having the ability just to drop client um, I'm sorry, client documents into files within a system. Uh, I know there's a lot of systems out there that are, they are intelligent and they actually make those recommendations where they feel that a document might need to live within a system. But it makes it very easy to, again, everybody working on the matter has access to it, but you can also send that information to your client, you know, directly from this system. So matter management to me is just, it's so many different things to help overall drive those efficiencies that you were talking about, Dan. And in this hybrid era that we're in, and just kind of tacking on to what you're what you've been discussing, we're not always in the office, so we don't have our hands on the actual files themselves. And to be able to just work remote anywhere and to have that matter management system, that DMS available, is really a game changer in my opinion. What do you think? sales, Sarah? Yeah, I absolutely agree, right? There's nothing worse than getting a call from your ter- your attorney who's down at the courthouse who's like, I need, you know, in the discovery file <laughs> on the second floor in the third box, <laughs> I think, maybe it's the fourth. Um, but yeah, and I think it allows you as an attorney to um, utilize your legal assistance in, in other ways, right? You can train them to do other things, you know, as opposed to just filing papers and whatnot. It's it what takes two seconds to drop a folder into a digital file. You know, we call you sales, Sarah, uh, facetiously, but also you're, you're in essence selling to help out firms uh, achieve that efficiency and really become more profitable and generate that revenue from the the benefits of of being more efficient but you're really you're you're, you're kind of like uh, similar to a, a doctor here you're assessing the potential pain points and illnesses of some of these firms when you're speaking with them and you can really identify ways that these practice management systems and the document management systems that Sarah's been talking about Fabulous, Sarah's been talking about to see what 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 fits best, and 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 that's what I think. It's just so interesting in, in what you do is you're able to really dive in and figure. Okay, here's what works best for you, and here's why. And and that's what I what our listeners are really going to uh, take away is how does wh- what is it that Sarah, sales Sarah will look at to help me become more efficient. I think you're right. I'm absolutely just like a doctor. <laughs> now, do we call her doctor? Do we call her doctor, Sarah? Doctor, do we Sarah. just give you a doctor degree? We might have it's from the school of lexicon. Doctor, yes, please. Um, but yeah, absolutely. I think the best way to approach this is how to dissect, how to find the areas of weakness, and how to uh, how to utilize the practice management tool in a way that will work for firms and help them be more efficient. And like I said, help them utilize their paralegals and legal assistance for bigger tasks, not just the mundane filing and whatnot. Thank you for listening to part one of this podcast regarding practice management software. Please join us next week as we continue our discussion with Sarah for part two. Thank you for listening to The Entrepreneurial Lawyer, How to Grow Your Law Firm, presented by Lexicon. Lexicon is a legal software and services provider that enables lawyers to do what they do best practice law. Tune in next time with our hosts and be sure to subscribe and leave your review on your preferred podcast streaming platform or by visiting lexiconservices.com.